Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video review. This time we're going to be talking about a newly shown Transformer Studio Series figure, and this time it is the Voyager class uh, Bone Crusher. So this is quite exciting. The, the Studio Series has been showing a ton of new figures at several different conventions, actually, and I am um, doing my best to uh, to produce videos talking about the majority, if not all, of the figures that they have shown. Uh, this is a figure that I definitely wanted to talk about, though, as it was one of my top five dream figures for the Studio Series to make. Uh, I did make a video uh, talking talking about my, my Dreamcast. If I'm not mistaken, he might have actually been number one. He's number one or two, I believe, in that video. Uh, so to have it actually come true was really wonderful. It's been one that was has been rumored for quite a long time, so to see a final product is excellent. Now this is a figure that, or this is a character that they have already produced a figure of uh, back in the uh, original line in 2007 for the original movie. However, it was one that was needed of, of an update. It's, it's, it's one that has a fine torso and, a gr and nice legs. Um, but the arms were definitely uh, lacking quite a bit, and the hands were weird, uh, and it was also very small. It was only a deluxe figure, and I believe that this definitely should be a Voyager class figure, and some people uh, say that it should be a leader class figure. I think that Voyager suits it better. Uh, most of the Optimus Prime figures that come out are Voyager size, and he should be about the size of uh, Optimus Prime as he fights him in the film, and... Um, it's really the only time that you get to uh, witness the scale of Bone Crusher is him compared to Optimus, and he's about the same size as Optimus during that fight, so I think that Voyager class fits him. I think that Leader's a little too big, although most people do argue that Leader is the way to go with him, and they're disappointed by the Voyager size here, uh, but personally, I'm happy with the Voyager. So going over the actual figure here, what we can see, and uh, and the details that we have on it, uh, as you can see, I think that it does look excellent. It does still keep the, the like design of the legs I do like the way that the toes form over the wheels. That was something that was always quite unique with the original one. And uh, you can see that it still is the same here. I'm not seeing much articulation when it comes to those uh, kind of toe pieces, though, especially the side ones. And I hope that it does have articulation because the last version, the deluxe one, had like a pivot at the side toes that worked really nicely to stabilize him and to, to stand him well. This one, I'm not really seeing any articulation there. So I'm hoping that he does have some articulation because otherwise he's going to be a little awkward when it comes to standing him. Um, the top of the torso I think looks really nice. I like the way that it's built and his head looks really good. It's a nice head sculpt. It's a little bit bigger than the last one compared to the body which I, I think looks a lot better. Uh, the waist is where he, he's, he's got a very rectangular rectangular styled waist which looks a little weird. Um, it's alright but it does have an odd look to it but I do think that it is pretty decent. Uh, the arms themselves look quite nice although he still does have a decent amount of the kibble from the like the side of the vehicle on his arms not to the extent of the last one but there is still a decent amount which I'm not a huge fan of uh, but it looks alright. Uh, his kind of claw uh, piece is on his back it looks good. Um, I, the claw maybe could be a bit bigger. It's a, it's a slightly smaller here like it's very long but maybe Maybe they should be a little bit thicker, but overall I think that they look pretty good. The vehicle mode looks excellent. As you can see, it looks really nice. The only thing that I can kind of see that it's missing here is the uh, the decal with that bulldog that has the those uh, landmine um, spikes coming out like out of its mouth. Uh, that was something that was on the vehicle, and it, the figure, the original figure, had it. This one does not. I don't know if. There's some sort of trademark with that image, uh, but since they were uh, since they were able to get it for the original uh, figure, it would have been nice if they were able to do it for this uh, new one. But it's not the end of the world if they couldn't, of course. Uh, and the hands are very different from the original one. Um, the the original one didn't really have robotic hands. They looked very alien-like, like they were almost organic. So it just looked weird. Uh, this one is very much robotic, uh, so I do think that that looks a lot better. And overall, I think this looks like a fantastic figure and a great representation of Bone Crusher and finally one that's in a much better scale. And uh, this kind of almost completes the uh, original Decepticon team um, from the first movie, so that's quite nice, uh, considering they did remake uh, for the studio series Blackout, Brawl, um, Barricade is on its way, and then, um, oh, Starscream, they, they did the original Starscream as well, so... Uh, that's quite exciting. I really I love the original team of Decepticons. Uh, they're uh, most of them are like my, my favorite Decepticons from all the movies, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. A lot of people want the original Megatron. I'm okay with them not making the original Megatron. When I think of the original like Decepticon team, I kind of don't even think of Megatron in it. I kind of don't think of Barricade, to be honest. Like those two are kind of separate. So they get their own like separate fights. I kind of like the side Decepticons in that movie, uh, which I consider Starscream, Bone Crusher 
Crusher, uh, Barricade, sorry, Starscream, Bone Crusher, Blackout, and Brawl. Uh, those are like my favorite ones. So uh, I'm incredibly excited for this. And I would like a, a Movie 1 Starscream. It's not, I'm uh, sorry, Movie 1 Megatron. It's not on the very top of my list or anything, but I certainly wouldn't, uh, I definitely would pick it up if they did make it. So it would be cool. But overall, incredibly excited to see this Bone Crusher figure. He's going to look great with some of the previous really previously released uh, Movie 1 Decepticons, so can't wait to add them to my collection. And yeah, overall looking like a fantastic figure. Definitely let me know what you guys think of this Bone Crusher figure, and thanks so much for watching.